All right, we have the 17th going on in August here, you guys. Time's going by quickly. Um, I'm going to share a couple of quick dreams that I had last night. And, uh... Well, they weren't quick dreams. It was, like, all night long. But, uh... What I was clearly seeing was, uh... Um, Alright. First one, it started off like this. And, uh... I was, like, in... It was like I was in a place where our U.S. military, in the beginning, when they wore blue uniforms and they had their swords, more swords, and, uh... They had, like, little hand pistols or whatever... Well, I was, we were like in a, in a fortress, but it was as if, uh, in the fortress, before we opened the door, they were already in the fortress with us, the enemy, okay? But the enemy was our own people, okay? It was like game wars or something, you know? I, you know, it was our own people, but they came in and they fought against us. This is why I think it says we wrestle not with flesh and blood. These things have been in people around us the whole time. Even when we thought, you know. Um, it's why it's they, they're in all the high places. They get in all the high places. How? By the things of the world. That's why it tells you not to love or want these things. But anyhow. Um, what was happening was. Uh, I tried telling the guy, hey, man, they were already in here before you opened the door. You know, it was like they were playing game wars and everybody had to act like they were dead. Uh, like they got overtaken by the enemy. And when they opened the door, they just come rushing in. I'm like, they were already in here. That's how I was trying to tell the guy. They were in here from the beginning. We didn't get a chance to even do anything. And uh, then all of a sudden we're walking like we're captive by them, Okay. Then some guy came up and he like handed me um, a round thing with a bunch of eggs in it. And it had little skulls in it as well. Okay? Little skulls. And uh, like human skulls. Okay? And then I handed them off to that guy. The guy that was supposedly in charge. And then we're getting ready to climb up onto a building or something. And then it was like as if laboratory experience experiments and there was like little cobra king cobra snakes and you could see the eggs like whatever that they hatched out of and there were little baby uh king cobras like you know because they the thing on the side of their neck was opened up and they were like sissing their tongue out and stuff but there was like three of them and then three of them below three of them below like they were on on stages okay that's what i was seeing and uh Man. Then from there, remember I told you it was the early military, like the beginning, when we first came here as a nation, the blue, the old blue uniforms. And then all of a sudden I'm seeing uh, our military, they were like in a prison cell. Okay, not to me, the prison cell, I'm just, this is just my opinion. I'm thinking this is where they were captive, they were held prisoners. You know, taken prisoner at will. That's where I get that in the scripture. And even though they thought they thought what they knew, they were they were prisoners. Because if you're not following God, you're a prisoner. Okay, you're a prisoner to the darkness of this world. Okay, Christ came to turn us from the darkness to the light. Paul was told to preach and take us from the darkness to the light. Okay. If you're not following Christ, you're in darkness. That's the end of it. There's nothing else to debate or talk about. <laughs> but anyhow, um, they were in a prison cell. And I was, and I reached in there and something went pop. It was above the door. It made a poppy noise. And then, um, well, before that, I seen, like, Obama there. And I was saying something to him, you know, like I didn't like him and all that. Then I seen some little boy over there. And he kind of looked like Obama, a young boy. And, uh, and I was like, I was trying to be nice in front of the boy. And I said, well, no, he's not mean. You know, he's not mean or anything, you know. And, uh, and then Obama went to go shake my hand, which I really didn't like that. You know, that's what it felt like. Like he was shaking my hand and uh, being very extremely friendly towards me. 
and I woke up and I was like, Lord, I don't like seeing this stuff, you know, because I know that he's not, you know, and I don't know, I don't understand why I'm seeing this like this. And I uh, went back to sleep, and then that's when the uh, military, like, being in a crammed prison cell, where I believe where they're captive. They're in darkness, they're captive. Okay, that's the only thing I can get out of this. And then they said something about, um, like, Obama made, like, an executive decision and uh, and he killed 42 men, you know, like he did something, you know, like he, he did something. I'm thinking to myself, you know, I don't know about all that, you know. But the 42 men, it makes me think the 42 months, you know. That's the only thing I can think of, 42 months, you know. So it's got something to do with that, them being in a prison cell, captive, uh, for 42 months, you know, he's going to you know, be doing all kinds of stuff. But it was Obama. And uh, and then um, I ended up... Uh, I'll tell you, man, I have these dreams all night long, man. It's so hard to keep up with them. They're all night. They don't seem to let up. Even when I get up, I wake up. And I drink some water, and I go back to sleep, and um, it's like, like I just pick up into another, you know, it's, it doesn't stop. And I, I think we're getting to an extreme point here, you guys, a very extreme point. Anyhow, uh, I think we're getting close to that the 42-month thing or whatever, where he, you know, he's going to be doing his thing for 42 months. Uh... There's other things that I've had, but I, I just seem not even talk about it. You know, something that I don't want to mention. It's not, and I don't think that it's important to. But I think it's more like it feels more like an attack. You know? Um, I thought right around three minutes or something, I seen something. Right around the three minute mark, I seen something white. I think I did. I'll double check it. Anyhow, you guys, stay strong in the Lord, and uh, remember, this has all been done from the beginning. God knows everything. He knew it from the beginning. That time when I had that deja vu thing, when I, at, at, when I was at Dairy Queen at the gas station, see that lady eating something, got in the U.S. mail truck, then Joe passed me, and I looked back, and there she was doing the exact same thing immediately. As fast as I watched her go by like that, and I looked back like this, there she was doing it again. God's known everything from the beginning to the end. And I got to watch her go do it again. Okay? So everything that's happening, you guys, it's all been pre-done. There's nothing new under the sun. Okay? God has done this from the beginning. And this is what everybody needs to remember. He didn't open your eyes to be fearful. Those that are going to be fearful are going to be those that are still asleep. Those that aren't aware. That won't listen or hear what we're saying. You know? Just like when Jeremiah, you know, and Isaiah, when they were trying to warn the people and they wouldn't listen. No more are they listening now. It's basically the same thing. God bless you guys. I love yous. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.